Welcome to Dancing with Tech. Today, we're going to be talking about the Google's current Tensor chip that powers the recent release Google Pixel 6 and Google Pixel 6 Pro, as well as a rumored second generation Tensor chip. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And do not forget to like. And also, guys, don't forget about our giveaways. Remember, we have a giveaway for the Fortune Wireless headset. This headset is good for blogging, recording YouTube videos, and so on. Trust me, the quality of the audio is great for you guys that like to do different things. Also, we have another giveaway going on, and that's a PlayStation 5. Yes, you heard me. So stay tuned to the end of the video to watch all the information how you can enroll in the PlayStation 5 giveaway. There's not information as of yet on a new Google Tensor chip, second generation, but it sounds like it's definitely coming. It also sounds like Google will take a page out of Apple's book and launch a new flagship every year with a new and approved vi revision of the Tensor chip. That's great news because that means we'll be get, seeing better overall performance as well as efficiency. And efficiency, efficiency is very, very important. Um, look for Google's phones to get smarter and smarter with every new release. Look for a battery life, better RAM management, and more convenience for the consumer. With this also comes with fuel heating issues faster and more efficient charging speeds are also on the wish list. Google AI always have been unmatched. With that being said, get ready for better pictures and better video qualities. By no means does this mean that the current Google Flash is bad or less than. I have to be clear about this, especially when it comes to standing up against giants like Apple and Samsung. The Google Pixel 6 series is definitely a step in the right direction for Google, of course. They did pretty good stepping back into the flash of game for the first time in a while. Because, you know, they've been doing a mid-range game for a long time. But now they're stepping in the big waters and territories of Apple and Samsung. This is one of the fastest and fluent phones that I've seen in a while. Google Assistant and the new AI improved voice texting feature is like straight next level. However, now hear me out. However, there were some shortcomings and these shortcomings not terrible, but you know, there's no perfect phone. First, we had to talk about the heating issues. You know, there's a difference. Some may have issues where the phone just heats up to the point you know it's really warmer than usual. And then you have some issues where the phone is completely overheated. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like holding a hot boiled potato, right? Either way, this has become a common issue with the smartphones and I'm sure that all can't wait until one day this is all resolved no more heat up phones next as great as a tensor chip is you'll see well you will encounter some stutters from time to time now i'm not saying that's a deal break or anything of that nature but it does happen every now and then and not for all consumers as well but even small things like this it does count especially when you come up against Samsung and apple we won't get too hard on Google as far as that's concerned because we know they're focusing on more efficiency with this device. Another thing I experienced was not being able to use 5G. Oh, Google, Google, Google. I, I mean, I had I had to depend solely on 4G LTE because every time I connect to the 5G, I would lose service completely. And that, that, that's irritating. I didn't think too much of it at the time period, and I wasn't happy about it. I just thought that it would be fixed with a simple software. Now, it's a wider known issue, and people are really not having a problem with that. So that's just a few things I wanted to address. Otherwise, it's a great phone, especially for those that don't want anything too complicated and like simplicity. Now, there are some shortcomings, but it's still a beast of a phone. 
This is why we should be really excited about the second generation Tensor Chill. Google started from scratch with this one, and look how great it turned out to be on the first try. So I do look forward for the Google Pixel series to get better and better as time progresses. This may happen sooner than we think because the Google Pixel 6a is coming. I mean, they already got renders and stuff out there on the internet that's coming, but there's no, uh, no word out there if they're gonna incorporate the current Tensor Chip into the Google Pixel 6a. I personally really hope so because if they do, that would be awesome. You know, and with that being said too, you guys probably can agree with me too because like when that tensor chip is inside of Google Pixel 6a, I feel like they can get more data and stuff to improve for the second generation. And guys, before we go to the end of the video, let's check out the PlayStation 5 giveaway. So guys, I'm going to give you all the information real quick. Well, for starters, if you're interested in PlayStation 5 giveaway, just subscribe to the channel. Now, this is not one of those giveaways gonna last forever. It's actually a time giveaway. As a matter of fact, the giveaway will be over on December 26th. So this is the way it goes. All you gotta do is subscribe and like the video and make sure you check all the videos out and leave a comment below. Also, the biggest thing when I reach 6,000 subscribers. So hopefully we can hit that mark in a short period of time, it's a little over two weeks, 6,000 subscribers. All you guys who subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave comments below, you will be eligible for this. This is a PlayStation 5, and this is the disc version. Not the digital version, the disc version. And I, I don't use box or anything, so I stood in line for nine hours just to get the PlayStation 5 to help out the channel. So guys, if you're interested, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Make sure you watch all the videos, and when I reach 6,000 subscribers between now and December 26th, that will activate the giveaway. Also, another piece of key information, follow my social media. I have Twitter and Instagram, Facebook. I will be putting out more details on Instagram and Twitter. So all you got to do is just follow on my social media. I may mention on Facebook as well, but I'll leave everything in the description below. So remember... 6,000 subscribers by December 26th. This is a time giveaway. Remember, like the video. Most important, you gotta subscribe to the channel or else how can you enter in? So that's all you guys gotta do. And good luck to all of you. All right, guys, so I hope you got all the information in regards to the PlayStation 5 giveaway. And don't forget about the other giveaway too, the Fochu Wireless Lavalier Microphone. And I do wanna ask you guys these questions so in regards to the video. Uh, you guys tell me, are you excited here about a new and approved Tensor Chill? Or is a current Tensor Chill just fine for you? Or is there anything in particular that you would like to see on the next Google Pixel series? Me personally, I want to see it get better, better. I want to be more innovative. I really want to take a page out of Samsung book too, because Samsung is very innovative. And that's probably why I really like using uh, Samsung phones. You know, some is gimmicky, but I feel like if if Google takes a book, well, takes a, a page out of uh, Samsung and a page out of Apple and just put in it and still stock Android, that might be the best uh, smartphone in the world. That is my opinion. And guys, like I said, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, because you mean, you want to be part of the, these different types of giveaways. So one way to be part of it is subscribe to the channel. And also, do not forget to like the video. That's very, very important. Like the video. And guys, I thank you for checking me out. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.